Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today, we are going to talk about some medical equipment that I really wanted to share. So this is called the Cerebel. So the Cerebel comes in this bag. This is actually a portable EEG device. So the Cerebel is a rapid response EEG, which is portable that comes with this. So you need your portable monitor and definitely you need the EEG headband. The EEG headband has 10 electrodes and don't worry too much because the instructions are actually here in these boxes. Then you will find a electrode gel that comes with a kit. This is multi-patient use, but this rapid EEG headband is a single patient use. So why do we need to do an EEG? So an EEG, or it's called electroencephalogram, is a test used to evaluate electrical activity in the brain. The brain cells communicate with each other through electrical impulses. An EEG can be, can be used to help detect potential problems associated with this activity. So the EEG tracks and records brainwave patterns. So one important thing that we have to know in terms of this EEG reading is we want to make sure that we are actually detecting these silent killers. Some of them are not detected easily. That's why we wanted to promote a portable, a rapid EEG. We do have a conventional EEG, but sometimes maybe it's off hours or during a holiday or a weekend, we don't have the EEG technician to perform this um, duties and role, which is significant in treating and diagnosing these patients. That's why e the Cerebel was created to provide a rapid EEG testing for our patients. So one of the things that we want to make sure that we are diagnosing correctly or accurately in the earliest time is a non-convulsive status epilepticus. The non-convulsive status epilepticus is a prolonged seizure with minimal to no clinical manifestations. Patients with non-convulsive or subclinical seizure can present with altered mental status or confusion, fluctuating behaviors and responsiveness, occasional myoclonus, oral or manual automatism, which includes finger rubbing, facial or eye twitching, or slip smacking. These episodes can last for days, and sometimes it makes it difficult to diagnose due to the presence or insufficient awareness of the prevalence of non-convulsive seizures, especially the non-convulsive status and clinical presentation is protein and may be mistaken for any other condition. So the cerebral is meant to be a short-term monitoring of patients suspected of subclinical status epilepticus when an EEG technician is not available to place a 10-20 EEG montage within 60 minutes. Cerebel is ideal for recording less than 6 hours but can be used for longer when necessary. Short-term monitoring when a 10-20 montage is not practical, Cerebel can replace those treatments Cerebral can be placed in the ICU or emergency room. But take note that most patients with high clinical suspicion for subclinical status epilepticus will require 12 to 24 hours of continuous monitoring. If a continuous EEG monitoring is required beyond 6 hours, the patient is recommended to have the 10-20 EEG montage placed by a technician at that time and or to be transferred to a facility with an EEG technician. Cerebel also has its contraindication for use. Some of it will include inpatient EEG when a standard 10-20 EEG placement by a technician is rapidly available. Confirmation of non-epileptic spells, such as psychogenic non-epileptic seizure, Continuous EEG recording for multiple days, elective outpatient EEG testing, 
an EEG recording to localize seizure. The cerebral focus. is actually known to have a six minutes to EEG pathway. So the cerebral headband with 10 electrodes, like what I've mentioned earlier, is a single patient use. Six minutes to set up by healthcare provider is all it needs. The cerebral recorder in here is a pocket-sized EEG recorder wherein it records clinical quality EEG and display on device. And then all the data that goes to this EEG monitor goes to a cerebral EEG portal, which is also a HIPAA compliant, which you can see real-time data streaming and remote review. So let's talk about how to place the cerebral. So remember, you want to make sure that you do have this monitor and you have this charger. So if this battery is fully drained, it would take about eight hours to charge this cerebral device. Next, we are going to take out the headband from the box because this is what you wanted to put in first. So the cerebral headband has 10 electrodes. It, it is actually labeled by number, and most especially, you wanna pay attention to this label because it says in the back, so the way you wanna put it in a patient is that you will go around the patient's head and then clip that using this clasp here. So you do wanna make sure that this clasp is in the middle of the patient's face. Note that the cord will be staying here and that's, this is the cord that you're going to attach to your um, cerebral monitor. You wanna pay attention to the hair, maybe the thickness, as sometimes it may obstruct on your electrode reading. So if you do have a long hair, you can probably tie it up here so the back part will be empty so it's easier for you to place the electrodes. How do we place this electrode? So what are you going to do is to rotate this seven times like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then with your two uh, fingers and thumb, you are going to press this. As this, once you press it, this will release the gel inside to conduct and prepare your skin for electrical EG. Do that all throughout the 10 leads, okay? So when you are done, so after you have correctly placed your headband to your patient, if they are lying down, which will happen most of the time, you wanna make sure you have a roll of a towel because you wanted to put this behind their back or behind their um, head so that this electrode is not pushing because there's a pressure between the bed and the patient's head. We don't want any pressure against it because it may cause skin breakdown and irritation. The 10 leads, take note of your monitor. So your monitor, the power is up here and you will have your button in here. So I'm gonna power it up. And you would see it's a very user-friendly, it's touch screen. And you would see this three uh, different options. So you have your patient record, sound, you have your um, display, electrodes, and setting. You also have your home button and your annotation here. So if it's your first time to be using this, it's very easy. So all you have to do is to click patient. This will ask you to enter a patient's um, information, such as the patient's ID. So I'll just make it up and then patient's name then you hit enter, patient's last name, the patient's date of birth. So I'm just gonna make it up. And then I will hit enter. And then it would require you to ask to put in the ordering physician. And then once you hit all, you put in all the information, it would ask you to either confirm or edit. It's very important that you place the correct information because once you confirm this, it won't let you edit it in the future. So you may have to go through the entire process again. So I would hit confirm because I confirmed that these are the correct information for my patient. And you've noticed that the electrodes will show up. The gray electrode circle will tell you that 
the headband is not attached to the to the recorder so i'm going to attach it and then i did attach it now you would notice that the, there are reds and greens it is because maybe these electrodes are somewhat reading some of mine so you want to make sure that it's all green with the exception of sometimes you may have some sutures or surgery or wounds then you don't have to worry about it but even though you're missing one or two this machine will still be able to read an EEG for you um, if this is all green and you're okay I would start hitting record so note that it actually asked me because the machine detected that there are some poor electrode connection detected so you have an option to check electrodes and you have an option to continue without fixing make sure to fix it as much as you can but if it's unfixable because of the presence of the wound that you have to put a gauze in there or a dressing just hit continue without fixing so now it would actually start recording it actually starts recording you want to make pay attention to the record here and make sure you have a strong wi-fi so if you're okay with that for example the order says read for an hour read for two hours or six hours if you are going to stop the recording all you have to do is to hit stop recording and then i would confirm that by hitting okay and you would notice that it should be uploading. You would see a percentage of completion when it's uploading your data. So you wanna make sure that it's fully uploaded before you put this back in your charging station, okay? So you really wanna make sure you check your um, institution policy, how often you wanna check your skin. So the way you wanna check it is you're just going to pull this up, check for any redness, if there are any redness, document that. And you can always move this to the side as long as you stay in the mid, mid line of your face. So you can actually adjust this so just to avoid that skin irritation. But again, if you already have a wound, then you probably won't be able to as long as you're not putting the electrode directly on top of the wound. So you can adjust it. Make sure you have your recommended dressing for that specific wound or irritation. So once you're done, you would see 100% complete. And of course, you'll be able to take this off. So take off your headband. I will take this off. And you can just wipe the excess um, gel. It's water soluble, so it should not... Um, leave any sticky feeling to your patient, but make sure you excess, uh, wipe the excess gel, or if it becomes hard, just you know damp cloth and wipe it out. Um, this can be used with, uh, for 24 hours, single patient use. After that, you could probably have, um, start seeing a problem that the gel are sticking because it's exposed to air. Um, and then after that, after the use, you want to make sure you wipe this with your hospital acquire a uh, hospital approved disinfectant your sani wipes um and make sure um, you put this back on your charging station so it's very easy to use um i i'm just very happy that they made it because it is fast and easy and it can be set up by any healthcare provider only in a few minutes at the same time, the neurologist can review the EEG remotely in real time to confirm seizures and help with patient treatments. So that's the Cerebral, guys. Thank you very much. If you like this video or if you want more videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.